Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michael, and today I'm going to be talking about the Man Booker International Prize. The long list was announced earlier today, and I have been spending most of my day thinking or talking about this prize. One of the main things I've been doing was trying to find as many of the books that are long listed so I can start reading them. I do plan to read the entire long list, and this is one of the few book prizes where I do spend a lot of time trying to read the long list and talking about the long list and obviously the shortlist and the winner. There is a surprising amount of translation prizes and I know the Best Translated Book Award will be announcing their long list fairly soon, but that list tends to be a lot harder to get a hold of the books and it is a shorter time period so it makes it a little difficult. With the Man Booker International Prize, I do try and read as many books that I think might be on the before it gets announced, and that way it makes it a little bit easier than me. But this year was more surprising than normal. Last year, there was a fair few surprises, but there were still some books that were predictable. But this year, I only predicted two of the 13 books, and they were fairly obvious, and the rest felt very much like a nod to small press, a nod to books that aren't getting enough attention, and I was surprised by that. So I'm going to go over the 13 books that were nominated, and I'm going to be using my iPad to read the list, and then I'll go from there. So the first book is Celestial Bodies by Joka Ahadi, and this is an Armenian book and translated from Arabic by Marilyn Booth, and this is coming from Sandstone Press. Next is Ken Su, book Love in the New Millennium, and this is a Chinese book translated by Annalise Feingau from Yale University Press. Next we've got Annie Irain and her book The Years, which is a French book translated by Alison L. Steyer, and this is by Fitz Carago Editions. Mason Maru had a book called Jokes for the Gunman, translated by Jonathan Wright, and this is a Arabic book, but the author is Icelandic Palestinian. We've got Four Soldiers by Herbert Bigarelli from French, translated by Sam Taylor, who is a translator that often gets on this list, and that is by Portobello Books. We have The Pine Islands by Marion Pushman, and translated by Chad Collage. And that's by Serpent's Tale. We have Mouthful of Birds by Samantha Swevlin, and she's an Argentinian writer. And the translator is Megan McDowell. The Facility of Dreams by Sarah Strasberg, and this is a Swedish book translated by Deborah Bragham Turner, and this is from Corpus. We have Olga Tukacic, book Drive. Your Plow Over the Bones of the Dead, translated by Antonio Lloyd-Jones from Fitzcarraldo Editions as well. Juan Gabriel Vaquez's book, The Shape of the Ruins, translated by Anne McLean, and this is also by Corpus. Tommy Weiringer is a Dutch author. His book, The Death of Mordrat Adrissi, is translated by Sam Gannett, and that's by Scribe. The Remainder by... Ali Trebeko Zaran is a Chilean book translated by Sophie Hughes, and this is by And Other Stories. And I realise I just missed one, and that is At Dusk by Wang Dokyan. This is a Korean book that was translated by Sora Kim Russell by a scribe as well. So they're the 13 books. As you can see, a lot of these are very surprising picks. I have read... The Shape of the Ruins and Mouthful of Birds. I am very pleased to see Shape of the Ruins on the list. I think it's a great novel and hopefully more people get to read that one. As for Mouthful of Birds, I don't think it's deserving. It isn't a great collection of short stories. I know people love it. I know people love Fever Dreams and I feel like this book was added because of her popularity and because of Fever Dreams, not because of this collection. I have a few books on the list, I've already started reading At Dusk. I've got Drive Your Plow Over the Bones of the Dead to read. A few other books waiting at the library, so I'll be 
able to pick up them up soon. They are four soldiers and the death of Morat Idrizi. And I will be looking at other digital services to try and see what I've got. One of the books that really surprised me is The Years. And the reason that surprised me is I think it's an autobiography. And the announcement that went out from the Booker Prize said that fiction and short story collections were eligible. And I don't know if this one technically is eligible, but they might try and pass it as a autobiographical novel. But I'm pretty sure it's non-fiction. So let me know what you've read. Let me know what you plan to read. Let's start a conversation about the Man Booker International Prize. I will be talking a lot more about these books. I might even try and do reviews on my channel for them. Definitely going to be doing them on my blog, particularly Translated Lit. If you haven't followed Translated Lit, sign up to the newsletter. Maybe check out the site. It's going to be a lot of discussion on there. And Hopefully soon the next podcast I release for Austin Translations will feature Agnes from Beyond the Epilogue and we will have a conversation about this long list on there which would be far more interesting than this video so go watch that instead. But we're at the end of the video so too late. If you want to find me elsewhere all my links to social media are in the description below and as always thank you for watching.